The outgoing regimental sergeant major, Chief Warrant Officer Richards, will now address the parade. General Addy, General Perrin, General Thomas, Colonel Hetherington, Colonel Russo, past CEOs and RSMs, friends, family, dragoons. First, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank everybody for coming to the change of appointment ceremony this evening. It doesn't seem possible that three years has come and gone. Man, it sure doesn't. It seems like yesterday I was in Chief Warrant Officer Mercer's shoes uh, waiting to go on the parade. The expression, time flies when you're having fun, is so true. A few highlights of my, of my years. We saw the omelet deployed to Afghanistan with Colonel Frank and Chief Warrant Officer Head, as well as the deployment of Ace Squadron under Major Wellington and Sergeant Major Bichet. I had the opportunity to go to Afghanistan in the fourth, or the fourth generation visit. It was great to see both a squadron and the Army Dragoons in action. Iron Man, a sea of red. My first year, I competed with the CO. The second year, we had 90-ish uh, participants, and last year we were about 85. It was wonderful to see those red t-shirts moving under, uh, with the canoe on their head. And Arisa Mercer, I look forward to seeing them while I'm here. <laughs> We were able to get a new spring bucket for the regiment. We were fortunate enough to have our patron and a few friends of the regiment send two of our soldiers to Lily Fontaine to shoot a spring bucket. They were there for approximately 10 days. They had much success, and the spring bucket today finds its home in our headquarters in F 104. Sea Squadron, it's great to see them on parade tonight. Who would have thought 10 years ago we would have tanks back again? Not only tanks, but in the addition of the 12 RBC soldiers as being part of the squadron. It has been a challenge, but in such a small core, it'll work. We'll make it work. I would thank, I'd like to thank my first fire team partner. 30 years ago in the trench in Area 6, Sergeant Retired Randy Payne, he was that man. I'd like to thank him for everything he has done throughout my career. He's been a confidant. And General Thomas, if you can imagine, yes, he's been a confidant. A true supporter and a true friend. If you ever wanted an honest opinion or even an opinion, just ask him. He'll give it to you. I'd like to also thank the two COs that I had the privilege to serve with, Lieutenant Colonel Cross and Lieutenant Colonel Atherton. Thank you both for your leadership, support, and allowing me the latitude to do my job. I also would like to publicly thank Connie, Victoria, and the children. You allow both of these fine men to do what they do and not worry about what goes on at home. So ladies, I thank you both. Colonel Hetherington, Brigade Sergeant Major, Stu, thank you for your support. Colonel, thanks for giving us the time and space we need to lead this fine regiment. The time required to do the job, as well as the space to do it in. Stu, I didn't call often, but I always knew you were there, and that you had my back, and for that, thank you very much. And just as a side note on that, the, uh, the Brigade Sergeant Major, Brigade Commander, officiated another one, uh, change of command this morning in Gagetown. They've flown back so they can turn this, so truly thank you very much for, for this. Dragoons on parade. 30 years ago, I was a trooper standing on parade, on this parade square. And I'm truly honored to have been the Regimental Sergeant Major of this line regiment. I see most of you develop from young soldiers into mature leaders. It, it makes me proud to, to know the regiment is still strong. Chief Warner Officer Mercer Sean and Alex, all I can say is welcome back. It is a great pleasure that I hand the regiment over to you, Sean. I am now, and only in the last couple of days, ready to go. And as I said before, the regiment is growing and change is good. I know Valida, Malika, and Madeline are waiting for me to come home. At least I hope they are. 
With that, Valida, you are the rock that held this old soldier up for a long time. We won't say how long, but it's been a long time. Thanks so much for that, because I made it. Girls, it won't be too much longer. As the Colonel of the Regiment said when he was at the associate gathering in uh, Kingston last year, he used this format. I am Chief Warrant Officer Bill Richards. I was the 45th R7 of this fine regiment, and I am a good. Thank you. Incoming Regimental Sergeant Major, Chief Warrant Officer Sean Mercer, will now address the parade. General Laddie, Major General Farron, Brigadier General Thomas, Colonel Russo, Colonel Hetherington, COs and RSMs, distinguished guests, family on both sides here, and Dragoons. Premièrement, il faut que je dise merci beaucoup à la force canadienne et l'armée, le pauvre blanc et le régiment de la World Leader de Goons de me donner la chance de faire la pause de la sergent-major régimentaire de cet régiment. C'est vraiment un honneur pour moi. Secondly, I would like to thank Mr. Richards for our handover. He knows each and every one of you, inside and out, without notes, without any aid at all. He can describe each and every one of your character. That, in itself, tells how much he loved you, and how much he cared for you, and his vocation to service of this regiment. To the family, my family that came here, from some distance, thank you very much for coming here today. To my lovely wife, Alice, thank you for your support over the years. And finally, to Dragoons, it's good to see you again. God bless. Speak warm. Well. 